In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a stunning thumbnail for your lyric videos. Whether you're a lyric video creator or any other content creator, you can accept the fact that thumbnails play a very vital role in making your views go viral. In this video, I'm going to take my time and show you the basics of how to create a stunning thumbnail for lyric videos using Adobe Photoshop. But before we continue, I would like you to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to teach you how to create a basic type of thumbnail for lyric videos. But if you want to learn how to create advanced one, like the one that made you watch this video, because if not for that, I'm not sure we would have been watching this video. If you also want me to teach how to create advanced type of thumbnails like what you just saw before watching this video, I would like you to drop that in the comment section so that it could motivate me to do that. Thank you for your time and patience. Without wasting further time, let's get into my workflow and let's get this done. So this is my workflow Adobe Photoshop. So before I start anything, I want to go to the image, choose image size. I want it to scale up a bit. So uh, I'm going to insert 4,000. Yeah, I like this. To make the image get stand out. So let me resize this. Now, what I want to do is I want these colors in here to pop out. The first thing I'm going to do is to select a filter and choose camera or filter. So a pop up menu is going to appear. We'll continue from there. Uh, so I'm going to base it. Maybe reduce the exposure a bit, a bit just a bit. Increase the contrast, highlights, and just leave it at zero. Let me just do this. Let me focus the color more. So let me increase the brightness to a bit. So now I'm going to the color mixer. If you have a lot of colors here, like blue and stuff, so let me go to the rest and that's to the let me increase it a bit. Like the saturation. Luminance. Reduce down its area. That's so. Just a bit. Let me focus on the blues. I want the blue to pop out like kind of deep. Ah, uh, this is too much. So I'll leave it somewhere around 20. Go to saturation. Increase it a bit. Yeah. And I'm going to this one, let me see if it has an effect, okay. I'm going to reduce down to a bit. Go to saturation. And increase it a bit. Yeah. Sometimes when you're doing this, you can mess up with the colors because you're going to do a lot of things and then you end up making something that's a bit, oh, you know what I mean. So let's just maintain this because this is the basics. If you want me to go into the advanced type too, I can do that in my next video. I just need to hit that subscribe button and like it. Yeah. So I'm going to the calibration. Oh, before that, let's go to detail. Let's try to reduce some noise. Sharpening. sharpening. I'm going to sharpen a bit. Reduce noise a bit. Reduce the color noise to a bit. Okay. So now let's go to the calibration. And the calibration, you can see the saturation of all the colors. What you can do like something like this you see what i'm talking about like in this case let me focus on the rest uh, that looks uh, reduce it a bit and put the saturation yeah but i think this is cool we can go ahead from this side to the press ok so that is going to affect the uh. now i want to cut out of caribbean so i'm going to hit like this and before you can do this sometimes you can choose to edit this by also moving any sort of blemishes or anything on here and save it trying to do all the color grading before you come and cut out like 
say it as a different flower. But in this video, I'm just going to just uh, cut her out and put her on the background. But this is the basics. Yeah. So what you're going to do is go to these two here. It seems like for cutouts. Press select subject and leave it for it to work on it. So that's that. Then we select mask. Yeah. And then choose the output. We want it to be a layer so that we can import it into the uh, other field. So we're going to choose new layer with layer mask. And then press OK. So now what I'm going to do is press Ctrl C. And go here. Press Ctrl V. You see she's over here. What I want to do is kill her up, increase the size a bit. She looks great. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay let me increase the size of this a bit. Let's say two thousand. You don't want to deep exile here, like you got what I'm saying. So let me go to the image side of the side to like see some is there details. Yeah. So what I want to do is maybe do some color grading as some background stuff. So let me see what I can do. So first click on head. See these two here. Click on it. Go to curves. Yes. I want to create that cinematic effect. So what you're going to do is do this. Yeah. And reduce it a bit. Yeah. You see how that's affecting the entire show? Yeah. So I want it to affect the whole show. But if you want it to affect only head, you just put this button here and you get this. But in this case, we want it to affect the whole show and make it more cinematic to do this. That's that. I'm back. Yeah. And then you see this line pops up as in the cutout. So I want to clean it. Just use the eraser. I select here. Then maybe zoom in or something. Think that should be fine so let's say the title of the music is maybe what what i'm going to do is click this select horizontal type 2 then hit this type work and then i'm changing let me put the default color to white for now uh, oh i didn't select that before doing it so that's nice to Yeah. I select white. Okay. I think that should be cool. Then one of right, the next thing I want to do is write a name. But it's not the only form you can get. You can get a lot from this side. Yeah. But let's go ahead. This is just the basics. I want to get the basics. So let's put us on that. Uh, so we can write it in all caps or the other way around. But we do all caps. Increase the size. Yeah. Like this. If you write it under it. Yeah. And then. Yeah, if you think this is cool, sometimes adding a lyrics video or something here is also cool to tell your audience more about what you're talking about. But you want to create some sort of 
uh, let's say curiosity you can just do this make it look like maybe a visualizer or something so that you get a lot of click rates so i like to do this i barely add a little video to show that it's a little bit yeah so there's this but i want to change the the font so i'm going to press this okay let's choose this first come to text do that select everything up here so you see over here we've got a lot of yeah a lot of fonts let me take this okay see that stands out This is Henry. Uh, take this one. Now, see, let's do that again. This is not difficult. You can sit at home, feel free, and we'll be able to do it. Yeah. Of course, no one taught me how to do this. Let's go to the app. I don't its features, and I was able to paste something to my, my style. Sorry. So that's simple and take this. Yeah, now you see you've got something. Yeah. I want to I want to even make this a bit like good looking. So I have this yeah vivo. Let me try and import that for my gallery. So with this, let me see, select, can you the other tools to move the black background and so forth, uh, let's want to use the select subject, select mask to yeah, let's play, uh, select mask. You do that with mask, I want to get rid of the black, even though that's going to be a little bit time wasting. Wow. I think oh, I think it's cool though. I'm gonna do something. something. Forgive me if I'm not perfect with that. I'm not normally used to doing this. Control C, uh, Control V. Yeah, so we got it. Then press this, bring it, let's say somewhere here. Yeah, so now we've got this. So you see the text looks so raw and stuff. I want to add a little bit of shadows and stuff. What I'm going to do is uh, select the text, go play. Now let's okay and go to drop shadow. See how that looks. Yeah. Uh, that's so cool. So the mode you see you can change it to dark anything, lighting, anything, multiply. See how that looks. Yeah. Hello. I'm going for dark no, we just go for now. I said this is the basics, so we're not going to do Next joke. Yeah. See that black stuff around it. Yeah, let me give this side a bit so that I can see what I'm talking Yeah, so that's it. Now choose OK. And down that. Now let's go to Air Penendo. 
Same thing, double click. Wait patiently. Press. Let's use something. We're going to use beauty style. I'll go for black. That's what it You can just be playing around with it to get what you think is perfect. Like, okay. And so, this is cool. Let's try to do something with Cardi B too. Make her look a little bit sexy, is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Double click. We can add some strokes and stuff. Yeah. Like this. Oh. From the cutter, the effect of the cutter that I initially did. Let me see something. Here. Uh, use the size of the I don't think this will be a hot You see, she's got the hair and stuff around it, so it's not going to be a hot If you've got a single artist who does not have hair like this, like as a female, if you got a male like Central C and other artists, you can just apply the stroke effect and it's going to create a link or that kind of line around their body. And that's going to be like symmetric, is what I'm talking about. So for now, let's forget about that. In my next video on how to be the advanced type, I'll treat that. But we can focus on the shadow. Yeah. Uh, let me see some. Something like this to make a stand out from the background. So I think that to be cool. So this is basically yeah, the most simple method of creating a kind of a living video. Yeah. So this is all you have to do. Yeah. So we're done. So you can just go here, export. Uh, can you export a quick export as PNG? Let me use that. Let's see. RDB. Uh, wow. Yeah. So that's so simple. That's how you can create a starting partner. All too soon, we've come to the end of this video. If you want to support me, the only way you can do that is by hitting the subscribe button. 